Okay, we're just doing a short video here on the Adafruit Data Logging Shield. Now it comes in a kit like this. You get the main shield itself, a battery to go into the backup for the real-time clock, and you also get a set of pin headers. You need to snap the length and solder in so you can mount the shield itself on your Arduino. Now the shield as it comes has a real-time clock which you'll need to set after you put the battery in. If you set it before you put the battery in, as soon as you disconnect it, it'll lose the time and go back to a default time sometime in 1970. It also takes a full-size SD card. Now we've tried this with a 2 gig and an 8 gig card. Works no problem at all. All the electronics is built in for doing the level shifting from the 5 volt Arduino down to the 3.3 volt that the SD card uses using a logic level shifter. You also see on here we've got a small prototyping area. To use these for building logging shields for RFID units. We mounted the RFID reader on the prototyping area and we then uploaded software to the Arduino to read the contents of the tag, take the time off the real-time clock and log that to a file on the SD card. On top of here as well you've got a reset button which is quite handy if you have your unit in a, uh, an enclosure uh, that way you can give access to this button for resetting the unit. Now in getting this project out of the box or out of the packet all you have to do is solder the headers on. Now, the easiest way to do this is to snap the headers to length, mount them on the top of your Arduino in the sockets and then mount the shield on the top and solder each of the individual pins. Keeps the pins nice and straight and you know everything's going to line up. Now the battery supplied with it should last between three and five years. If you're doing something that is time critical I'd recommend replacing it about every 24 months. That way you're always guaranteed that your battery is going to last for the, the length of your project. Now on the shield with the real-time clock this is connected to your Arduino through the I2C or I2C interface. There's a library included on the Adafruit website to use the clock with your software, as well as examples for setting the clock, reading the clock. The SD reader uses the SPI interface, and again, there's libraries available for reading and writing to the card, creating files, deleting files, doing searches, so that's a, a complete library and examples supplied on there as well. Now, I would reckon that these boards are invaluable to anybody that's wanting to use an Arduino to log virtually any information. You can log digital information, for instance the RFID cards, or you can log uh, digital information from switches or access buttons. You can also log the analog information as well, so you can read information in through the analog port, convert that to uh, a scale or a number, save that information off to the SD card, and then do some statistical analysis on it later on. Yeah, okay, that concludes this short video.